everybody, it's Ann from What's Up Family Home, and today I have another collab for you. And this one is another cookbook collab, and it's hosted by Tamara at Southern Wife Everyday Life. And she has this open collab, and she does it once a month, and she's going to do it at least through the end of the year. And I am using this Mom's Go-To Recipes, and I'm using a slow cooker recipe for vegetable beef soup. And somehow my cookbook broke, so... <laughs> At least this way you can see the cover and the recipe. But I hope you'll go check out Tamara's channel. I'll have it linked below as well as the playlist. And you will lo you'll love her channel. She does great food content. She does day in the live videos. She does a little of everything. And so go and check out her channel. And then go visit all the other ladies in the collab. And by clicking on that playlist link that I'll have down below. And you'll get some great inspiration and hopefully you'll find some good cookbooks to use. I think cookbooks are really a rare art form and they are just like your family sometimes and sometimes they contain recipes that are your family and that you that brings back great memories and that you treasure forever. So I really love my cookbooks. So I hope you'll like this recipe and I hope I like it too. And I'm going to cook it tonight, and it'll be ready tomorrow for lunch. So I'll show you what I'm going to use in the soup. Here's what I'm going to put in my soup. It call, it doesn't call for onions. It calls for onion soup mix. I'm going to put onion soup mix in there, too. I just forgot to get that, but I'm going to put these onions in there. It calls for crushed tomatoes. I'm going to use my home canned stew tomatoes. This is my beef that I canned instead of using a pound of stew beef cubes like the recipe says. I've got a can of corn and it says do not drain it. And I've got a can of potatoes that I can. So I'm going to use that. And I also have some carrots that I've peeled and cut up. I don't have any cans, so I'm going to just cut those fresh ones up. And this is a really easy dump and go recipe. And you can just put anything you want in here, basically. If you didn't have beef, you could probably use hamburger meat. I make a similar recipe, a soup recipe, and I use hamburger. So I'm going to go ahead and put that soup mix in there. I am also, I have, I cook tonight with uh, some chicken broth, so I'm going to go ahead and just add the rest of that. And it just says to dump everything in there, so I'm going to put my potatoes in. My corn. You could almost call this a beef stew. My beef. I'm just going to put that in there. I'm not even going to break it apart. I'm just going to let it cook. My dishwasher keeps talking to me. <laughs> getting on my nerves. <laughs> I had to stop it just so I could do this video and it will not stop. <laughs> Alright, those are the tomatoes. And onions. I love me some onions. And I'm sure you know if you watch my videos. So I'm just going to go ahead and stir that in. Okay, I added some salt and pepper. And now I'm going to add my onion powder. Well, if it will come out. I like a lot of onion powder. And I really need to go to Sam's and get that industrial bottle of onion powder because I use a lot of onion powder. So that's it. Look how easy that was. So I'm going to put it on low for about eight hours. And in the morning, we'll check and see how it tastes. Okay, I like this soup, but I don't think I would use the soup mix. So I would make it again, just I wouldn't use that. So I want to thank Tamara again from Southern Life Everyday Life for hosting. I'll have her channel down below as well as the playlist. And I will also list the recipe if you want to make it. And I hope I'll see you guys in the next video.